Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Tam and in today's video I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And yeah, without further ado, let's just get started with this video. So hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Tam and in today's video, obviously you can tell we're doing a get ready with me. It's a Sunday. Also, this is my first time using my new ring light and I don't know how that's how it's turning out. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but we'll see. I guess I'll just have to learn as, as like I progress with this whole thing. Firstly, <laughs> Is what I always use is the Maybelline baby skin primer just putting this all over my face um, yeah also I'm really sorry I have not been posting consistently um, last week I took a break um, because I was just really really tired so I just didn't want to film and make it like you know like I just prefer quality over quantity so yeah I just didn't want to film and then yesterday was Saturday and yes I didn't post yesterday because yeah um, I had drinks on Friday and like it was end of term so I didn't really like I wasn't like well enough to like film a video yesterday also we just landed up going to the waterfront and having like lunch there and then like yeah then I realized we got home it was six and I wasn't gonna film anything because I was with my friends the whole day and yeah so I just decided that I'd do a little get ready with me today so that's what we're doing I'm gonna be taking my I don't know if you can tell but it's the MAC CC cream um the C plus coral grass CC cream I'm in the shade light plus if you're wondering I've been preferring the CC cream because I'm finding it matches 
my skin properly in comparison to um, the Clinique anti-blemish solutions. I feel like that one's a little bit dark on me. Also, I'm finding that, that it like actually separates on my skin and I never used to do that. So I don't know if my skin's changed and that's why it's doing that. But yeah. Also, I realized this is like my first time doing one of these videos where I like sit and talk and do my makeup. I was kind of inspired by Jessica Stockstill. I'll leave her video down below. She kind of just inspired me to do like a get ready with me. So that's why I'm doing it like this. I'm now taking the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. It is in the shade Biscuit. I find that this, this matches and I think it's slightly dark for what I wanted in a concealer um, but I can't seem to find a lighter shade so I do want to try and find a lighter one but it's not terrible if that makes sense like I really like the consistency it does stay on the whole day um, yeah I'm just gonna cover up my spots I do hate when <laughs> we're changing seasons and stuff because my skin likes to break out. I broke out like quite a bit um, this last month. Like especially around like this area, like around my mouth, which is kind of weird for me because I'm used to getting pimples on my forehead. But yeah, I got a lot of them around my mouth, which was kind of new for me. I really did not like that, but it's okay. They're going away. I also like to hack at them and I know I shouldn't but I hacked at them so it just made it look even worse but it's fine I'm gonna do my eyebrows now um so for eyebrows I'm using this Revlon um color stay brow lights I'm using the shade 403 dark brown I really really like these <laughs> this brow lights thing um I've just been looking for alternatives to Benefit because Benefit's really expensive. Um, so yeah, I've just been looking for alternatives and I, I've been really obsessed with Sailor Dean and she used like this, she did like a whole thing with the Revlon, like the new Revlon range and yeah, I really wanted to try it out so I got a few things from them and this was one of them so I kind of just underline <laughs> the bottom of my eyebrow the little brush on the end of the thing and just brush the product upwards and into my eyebrow just to make it look a little bit fuller. I know my eyebrows are actually like quite full and dark already. Um, but I like doing this sometimes, not all the time. Sometimes I just um, put clear brow gel in my eyebrow. I am using the Yardley Raincoat Mascara or clear eyebrow gel. So usually if I don't fill them in, I'll just honestly do this, brush them up, etc. The only thing I don't like about it is that it can sometimes, when you use it without a oh, what's it, without something underneath, like if you didn't fill your eyebrows in, it kind of just it can like clump up, but then it'll look clear. And like because my eyebrows are dark kind of looks a little bit strange that I have these like flaky clear things in my eyebrows but it's okay so this is a new step that I've started doing so I'm using this like brush and I'm using like this plasticky side and I'm just gonna go through my eyebrows make sure to get any of that excess product out of my eyebrows so, yeah. so now I'm gonna do eyeshadow and this is like a little tester palette that I got a long time ago from my mom back home but it is the Estee Lauder 
pure color five color eyeshadow palette in number seven surreal skies okay so it's like very purpley light purple shades and i really really like that i'm gonna be using the bottom purple shade here um, yeah i'm just putting it on the outer edge of my eye this one has nothing yet but yeah And then I'm just taking this like smaller brush and I'm going to be taking the darkest shade which is this one in the middle and just putting that in the outer corner of my eye. take that like shimmery purple shade at the top here and now I'm gonna be using this very light highlighting shade to highlight my brow bone And then in the corner of my eyes. And then taking that like base shade that I used before, putting it in between the shiny like thing on my, like the shiny color on my lid and in between that like lighter shade. underneath my eye as well I'm gonna just take some of the concealer again and just like clean it up Just gonna curl my lashes now. Taking my Clinique mascara. I'm leaving my lower lashes today just because I don't feel like doing them. For bronzer, I'm using the the Huda bronzer by Benefit. For highlight, I'm going to be using the Maybelline um, strobe stick. This is in the shade 200 Medium Nude. I am taking the Estee Lauder Pure Color Impulsive Coral Shimmer um, Lip Gloss. It looks like this. And I'm 
done. <laughs> so that's sort of the makeup look for today. I don't know if you can see. Move closer. So, yeah, um, as I said, I'm not, not a makeup artist. But this is this is the look for today. Please just excuse my room. It's a mess behind me. Um, so this is the hairdryer that I use. Honestly, best hairdryer ever. It's so light. And then I just use these two like nozzles. <laughs> and I use the like fatter one first. I usually keep my settings on three. So I'm going to turn it on and just show you. I'm now going to take the like smaller nozzle and this is like a smoothing nozzle so it like kind of like smooths your hair makes it less like frizzy and like more like straight and sleek so I'm going to just do that Yeah, that's that's basically how I do my hair. Um, I don't usually blow dry my hair often, but I've been really liking to do it recently. So yeah, that's what that's what I've been doing. That's it basically. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and yeah, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe, please like this video, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.